Welcome to day nine of our 21 day fast. I am in the wilderness. You can see it behind me actually. These mountains would be the wilderness where the Bible said Jesus for 40 days and 40 nights fasted and prayed in the wilderness, being led by the Spirit. And I cannot imagine, you know, so barren out here, so um, none of the comforts of, of our life and to be out in these extreme places and to know what Christ went through. And it says that He was led of the Spirit into the wilderness. And so today as we're fasting and we're praying, I want to pray for those of you who are in a wilderness or I think we ought to focus on being led of the Spirit wherever the Spirit leads us. If He's allowing you to be in the middle of a wilderness situation in your life, it's because He's going to bring something out of it. You're going to come out. The Bible said Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. And that's what's going to happen to you on this fast. As you come out of it, you're going to return in the power of the Holy Spirit. So I want to pray for you today. Maybe, maybe you've been in a dry place. You've been in a wilderness, a hot place, that, a heat and intense pressure. And you just feel like you don't know what to do and where to turn. There is a God in heaven who hears your cry. He sees you as you're fasting, as you're praying, as you're seeking Him. And when you come out of this, and you will come out of this, you're coming out of this, it will surely come to pass. Then what I'm telling you is, you're going to come out in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me pray for you today. Father, I stand in this place where the Bible teaches that you, Jesus, were led of the Spirit after being baptized in the Jordan River to the wilderness to fast and pray. And God, I pray for those who are encountering their wilderness. They're going through their wilderness bypass. Most of the time we think it's going to be a straight, short, cut trip to success. But many times you take us on the wilderness bypass. But I thank you today that your grace is sufficient. I thank you today that the Comforter is with us. And I thank you, Lord, that you're going to bring people out of this fast in 2020 with the power of the Holy Spirit resting heavily on them. He's going to give you three things. He's going to give you wisdom. He's going to give you favor. And he's going to give you the anointing. The anointing is the ability to do the thing. And favor means that, that uh, doors open, doors that no man can shut. God knows how to pronounce favor over your life. And one day of favor is worth a year of labor. One day of favor in 2020 can change your whole future. And I agree with you for days of favor, anointing, and wisdom for every situation. The wisdom of God. Wisdom that is beyond even your natural ability. That you will make the right decisions concerning your family, concerning your business, concerning your life. God cares about these things. And as we fast and as we pray, he sends the power of His Holy Spirit in these three areas in your life today. God bless you. Keep fasting and praying. We'll see you tomorrow.